don't we open up just uh, for the sake of time? So we'll open the meeting. I have 631 opening the uh, CIPC meeting of March 11th, 2021. Okay. Uh, and just for information purposes, it is being filmed by RCTV for a future broadcast. Um, and the first thing we have on the agenda, if I can get to it here, is to approve minutes. We have minutes from February 25th, 2021. So if there's a motion to approve those. Okay. You guys had a chance to look at them? Yep. I just finished reviewing them and I'll make a motion to approve. Okay. I did make a, a uh, reference to, to you, Joe, that you were going to finish that spreadsheet possibly after tonight's meeting. I didn't put all the results of that in the meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I did say, yeah, it's not quite done yet. Okay. And I did send that out as we left it after our last meeting, right? You guys have that version? I have that, right. Okay. I just wanted to be sure that you had it in, in your hands. Okay. Um, I'll second, I'll second the motion because Mike, I know you wrote them, so you may not want to second them. So um, okay. all those in favor of the motion to approve minutes from February 25th? Uh, uh, Dan? Yes. Okay. Gracie, aye. And Becker, aye. Passes unanimously. And then, um, Dan, we don't have anyone in the lobby, right? Nancy's not waiting to get in or anything like that? No. Okay. So let me, I don't think Harry had specific times on the agenda for anyone. Uh, no, he didn't. I no. Um, and those are the, uh, other than reviewing what we had last week or two weeks ago, um, those were our choice for tonight. To get they were. To see if we could get any information on the things they needed and then possibly to uh, vote on those afterwards or rate them, excuse me, not vote. Right. So uh, the only thing, yeah, the only things I see that we haven't rated are those items, the one having to do with dispatch, the one having to do with COA, anything else on the list. Harry did uh, send us copies of that rating sheet that we were yes. from memory last week, <laughs> two weeks ago. So unfortunately, I guess we're going to have to wait to see if Nancy does join. Because you're right, we the only other things we have to rate are the three are the four items that we need more information on. Yeah, we got a couple from Nancy, and then that one uh, from dispatch. Uh, the radio units. I was curious. He gives uh, if we do ever speak to him, he gives prices per year for the five years. But he doesn't say the five communities or how it's to be divvied up, I assume, by population. It is. Yeah, there's, there is an agreement. There's a, a, a regional agreement with each of those towns of, you know, how the various costs associated with the operation are apportioned across the towns. And and you're right, Mike, I think it is based on population. That would be the fair way. I yeah. Think, but, um, uh Nancy had three things here, a van, a pavilion, and exterior doors. Right. Uh, I, I assume we're waiting to hear about it. I knew the heating system was a problem there, but it's not being mentioned. I would assume that's waiting for the, uh, the, the building survey to be done by through that grant. Right. And you both did see uh, that email that yeah. Harry the, forwarded having to do the with that deal the grant is yeah yeah so it sounds like that agreement just got got signed this week um Ron did it, say that that was going to go pretty quick that it might be done by the end of spring right yeah so that would be good um that'll probably play a part in our agenda for next year yeah uh, yeah I definitely think so assuming there's money I'm just double checking our list to make sure we've got everything that we have information on rated to see if there's anything we need to take action on there. Um, yeah, I've got your list here somewhere. Um, oh God, I can't see it. It's I got to zoom in on it. <laughs> um, 
22 ranking. All right. Yeah. Those are all the numbers I had. The the um, total scores were exactly what I had in my minutes. Okay, good. At least we aligned there. The only other item I'm seeing here that we had a note was the, the ladder truck. Yeah, and uh, we'd have to speak to Seth about that. Um, he expected to hear about that grant this season, I thought. Right. Um, and, and of course, even with that grant, the town would have to cough up, I think it was close to 50,000 or maybe a hair over 50, 5%, I believe it was. All right. So what I, what I'll do is, um, I can reach out to Seth and ask if he has any additional information on the grant opportunities for that ladder truck. 1.250 million. Yeah, that's more than I remembered. Maybe it's yeah. Um, I think that that's, was... that's 200,000 more than I had in my notes from when he came in and met with us. Yeah, uh, and maybe, that maybe my notes were wrong. Well, it, it could be a price change too, Mike, because you know, I'm sure, like anything else, those things change from year to year. But it's a, and it's a year and a half, or almost two years out, I think, since then. So. Yeah. So, and, and the most recent, you know, in the in the binder that Ron gave us all, it had the 1.25 number. So I, I'll reach out to Seth and see if there's any information on the grant opportunities. Um, do we need, I mean, I know we've met with Seth in the past about <clears throat> information on the ladder and we have the information that's in the book. Aside from the grant question, are there any other reasons to ask Seth to come in to talk, answer any questions about the ladder itself and the need and whatnot? I, I don't think so. Um, okay. uh, I think the need has been explained. It's the, the grant is really the big question on that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. For that kind of money, if we don't get the grant, we probably, I think the town might make do a little longer. But, yeah, and with the grant, it's a no-brainer. Yeah, assuming you get 50 grand after what Ron told us about uh, well, yeah. the school district and everything, that's, uh, hmm. uh, I'm, I'm noticing one other thing we never got any wording on here is uh, uh, Joe Buckley was looking for uh, state money to do all the sidewalks. And I'm, I don't know if he's ever heard anything on that. Yeah, so I, I have that same note, Mike, because I know the sidewalks were originally on the list, but then they were not included in Ron's binder. Yeah. Um, and, and the reason that we were told is because Joe was seeking that that's that state funding. So um, I got the impression I get the impression he might let it ride if he doesn't get funding. that's that's what i un understood it to be too that that's there's other priorities change. yeah um it would be nice i've been going for lots of walks around town and there are sidewalks that could use some some help uh, i could see where they'd be really nasty for people in wheelchairs or uh, with walkers or something right um okay so i i'll like i say i'll reach out to seth and ask about the grant but you know, assuming if there's if there's information on the grant, then I'll have them provide it in writing or invite them in to our next meeting. Uh, we'll have to follow up again with Nancy and Mike. Uh, I think we're running kind of short on time. So if they can't make the next meeting, I, I think they're just going to have to wait for their requests until our next cycle, because I, I think we're I, pretty much out of time. I've, no, I've noticed one other thing in your notes. Um, you've got sewer and water pumps, 10,000 mm -hmm. each. That mm -hmm. would be 10,000 for both of them as a placeholder. In reality, they're probably going to be about three each or something like or four each. Yeah. So I know um, at so our which, last meeting. Which takes it out of our jurisdiction. Exactly. And that's why they're in yellow, Mike, because at our last meeting, we talked about the fact that they fell under the CI. If you look over in column um, K, 
yeah. there's some notes over there and it says they fall under our threshold so that's why they're in yellow because we're not going to rate them and they don't fall in, under us oh okay um all right i wasn't getting all of that last call up in the zoom in i have on that all right um uh, nothing runs by now. oh yeah all those recreational fields we talked about in the past those are just I guess not a priority at this point, given right. especially given tough money. All right. Well, whatever you think we should do on this, then uh, for now. Okay. So, you know, if we don't have people to speak to, I, I think we're probably going to have a short meeting tonight. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know if that's good or bad. I'd, I would have liked to wrap it up. Right. Um, and um, those things that they've got in this year, uh, you know, um, we we might be kind of committed on the radio system at some point, given the fact that there's five towns. You know, um, not not that we're necessarily committed, but um, that all of a sudden makes it a bigger priority when if you're the only one out of five towns. Well, and, and we're the host community. Well, and that's the concern I have, Mike. Is what's been I don't know where the other five towns sit. I mean, I hate to have it on our 2020 to capital plan kind of as a placeholder with available funds only to find out that the other four towns are not on board you know what i mean uh, so we really need to find yeah, out we don't know anything board. about that exactly and, we and so, no, it, it's a huge expense and we yep. just have no idea what's involved exactly you know we don't know how the other towns feel about it whether they're on board with it yep. whether they've committed the funds or not we don't know what the grant, because last, you know, there's a lot of grant opportunity with that regional dispatch, and we don't know if this grant opportunity is related to the radios for the dispatch or not, or if it's fully out of pocket. I mean, it's just questions we need to know before we can make a decision on it. This this COVID money that's supposed to come through on this big thing that just passed through the federal government um, is supposed to have a lot of money for states and communities, for states that's going to be passed on to the communities. So there, there's a good chance there may be some grant openings for some sort of things. Um, exactly what those grants might cover, uh, who knows? But it's a, it's an interesting prospect that there, um, some of them are going to be make work programs. Uh, I suspect there'll be money for streets and sidewalks and things like that. Uh, I know that in my time in Worcester, very often. Um, uh, federal grants like that that came to the states meant a lot of work for us in Worcester. Um, so right. that's a, an interesting prospect to keep our eyes on. Yeah, you, I mean, regardless of how you feel about the, the whole package as a whole, I mean, from roads and infrastructure standpoint, it, it would, you know, I know Rutland could <laughs> utilize those funds. We got some roads and sidewalks in tough shape. Yeah, yeah. And, um, all right, well, um, how long have we waited here? Uh, I think it's Hold on, there's, somebody, there's one person in the waiting room. This is Mike Nichols. Mike Nichols? Oh, is it? Is it it's Nancy Nichols. That's oh, Nancy, yeah. oh, yeah. And... Okay, well, bring her in, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Nancy, you're just the person we were waiting for. You're on mute, Nancy, if, if you uh, can hear us. Nancy, I don't know if you can hear us or not, but you're on mute. How about that? That's good. We got yeah. you. <laughs> All right, we can hear you now. We can't see you, but we can hear you, which is the most important thing. Camera on this on this uh, Surface Pro. I apologize because I tried to get you from my phone and that did not work because I came from the community center at the finance committee meeting. But ah, okay, busy night. Yeah, and, and that got canceled. You got booked at the same time, I guess. Well, thank thanks for joining, Nancy. Um, so what we were hoping we could do tonight is we see that there's um, three requests for. Um, for eight, uh, Council on Aging slash Community Center, Council on Aging, if you will, um, that we just wanted to kind of talk with you about tonight. Um, yeah. So I don't know if you if you 
want to give us an overview and then we can go into specifics or if you just want the committee members to jump into questions um whatever your well, preference is is fine no i had talked to harry a couple of times over the phone because i um and i had talked to mike in person a couple of times there uh, your your mike um right yeah yeah, we this there's a lot of stuff that obviously needs to be done with the building. So uh, we as department heads spent a lot of time coming up with anything possible that needed to be done. And by the time the report was done, I really wanted to change um, kind of how that was presented because there's a lot of stuff that that's an issue. And I did not put like the boiler on there. I didn't put. Um, I can't remember what else it was, but some things because they were going to try and do it through that committee that through that group that green group or something that um, You know, allows for certain projects if you improve the efficiency enough. Mm -hmm. So that group came in, but of course it wasn't worth them having a project or pay financing a project because it didn't gain that much efficiency compared to what they would spend on it. So it was windows. It was windows and that boiler. However, those are two important things. I think right now the roof is probably the most important because we're getting leaks in one of the rooms and they don't know if it's from an ice dam, but it's happened before and whatever it's from, it, the water's getting into the light fixtures and the ceiling tiles and I don't know what else it's doing as far as mold, et cetera. So it's not good. that's the first thing that needs to be addressed at this point. So Nancy, I, you, you're probably familiar, but let me just run this by you in, in case you're not. Um, Ron shared with us that there's a facility study grant that the town was war awarded. Yes. And the intent of that is to go through all of the town building facilities to kind of collect these issues and help prioritize them. Um, and that, that process, he thought once the grant got awarded, which it, it was, and I think the contract was signed this week, he thought, the whole process would move fairly quickly as far as developing a plan goes. Okay. Um, my, my, the way in talking with Ron and, and Mike and Dan, keep me honest here. Um, I think he wanted to hold off on, um, you know, actually including the items that would fall under that facility study within the capital plan until that study was actually completed, unless we've got some dire circumstances. Okay. Um, so I don't know if if anything, obviously a leaky roof maybe fall in, maybe would fall into that category of a dire circumstance. But on the on the on the the plan that Ron submitted to us, the roof was on a 2023 request, not a 2022 request. Right. So you said it didn't happen. This recent leak didn't happen until a couple of weeks ago. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's kind of moved up in priority. It has because it's okay. been an issue in the past in that same area, but we thought it was resolved and apparently it has not been resolved. So the, the three things that are on the, the request for 2022 was a new van, a pavilion for outdoor use and the purchase of exterior doors. Right. But that all would be moved. That's why I didn't like the way it was, it, it came out. It, it, it was explained properly, but yet not explained properly and we had to come up with all of these numbers and I, I at first honestly was just trying to take a couple of issues get some contractors to come in of course it was right before christmas contractors didn't have the time maybe even not the resources to come in and, and have those done i was trying to get closer numbers so that being said um and after talking to harry after thinking I just kind of need to put everything out there, a wish list, I would I would change that. If I had I would do it again. That's why I wanted to talk to you guys. And Harry suggests I talk to you before I submit something else. Because quite honestly, a van I think would only work in our town if it was a, a regional issue, because I, I I it's a need, but it's a need in a lot of towns, and I don't know if there is enough, it would be utilized enough by one town. Okay. So I would not put that on there, even though we have talked about that um, in the past. And um, what was so what if was the same thing? oh, go ahead. Well, this this it, it's a good opportunity, Nancy. To if you had three items to prioritize for FY twenty twenty two, and start from scratch, 
I, I get the sense the roof would be one of those. What what would be the other two? The, the boiler and the windows. Boiler and windows, okay. And so the roof, the price we have on that was 77250 Is that still the price that you have? Yeah, that's the price that, uh, I mean, it was a best guess based on a, a couple of phone calls. But honestly, I don't know that any of those are accurate. And again, the way that it was described to me to do, kind of just take a number or get your best guess. If that's the way you guys do it, I would have done it much closer. I would have tried to have vendors come in or contractors come in and actually give prices. We didn't have the time to do that. That is what we normally get as quotes. Yeah. yeah. It was just kind of like, this is a wish list five years out, best guess. And then, um, you know, if the time comes where it's something that you guys would consider, then you get the three quotes. But now I'm, yeah. I don't know if that's the right way or not. It's part, it's possible that part of this building study that's going to be done on every building in town with that grant um, will prioritize and possibly even price out things for us. Okay. Uh, I'm not quite sure how complete that study is going to be, but that may take some of the pressure off you to get quotes if we have a professional agency um, sort of uh, rating needs ahead of time. And uh, uh, Ron had said that will become part of the long-term capital plan once it's complete. Okay. And we were under the impression that it would be complete maybe by the end of spring or early oh. summer. Oh, okay. But I'm not going to be held to that. Uh, Ron was a little vague. It hit the contract hadn't been signed then. Okay. And honestly, the outside exterior doors, that is now going to be covered. We received a grant that was part of like an ADA compliant grant. It had to do with our walkway. Um, so that there is money for those doors now. And that was also another thing that was going to be addressed with that um, company that, you know, did the efficiency work, but that's going to be covered now through part of that ADA grant. So I would take that off. And the pavilion was another issue that was supposed to be covered through CARES Act for OUTDA, and I'm still kind of working on that, but I wouldn't put it in here because at this point, I wouldn't expect it to really be an expense for the town, especially considering the budget issues, et cetera. It, um, that was something that I wanted through the CARES Act, and I'm still working on that. So Is again, you Nancy, your, your three priorities um, and th this is not unusual. The library changed their priorities too. Yeah. Obviously, that one of the heat has failed and it shot right to the top of the list and it was supposed to be done next year. So yours would be the, the roof would be a, a priority. And again, what were the other two? The, the boiler and the windows. So I, I see a price for windows because that is that is listed under 2024 and that the, the estimate given there was 82 to 19. I don't, I'm not seeing the boiler on the list at all though, Nancy, is there a... Um... Because initially that was supposed to be part of this group that came in. I don't remember what it's called. We let, we're going to, we're in a green, I, I'm not using the right terminology. And there was a group that did a study and they gave back to the town a whole bunch of different things, but you have to, you have to improve efficiency by a certain percentage in order for them to take on a project. And it, they may partially fund it, they may fully fund it. Once that, that person came and it was after we presented these, they said, no, the boiler, that's not something we would cover. And they wouldn't do windows. They wouldn't do the exterior doors. So that's why I didn't put it on at the time because I thought maybe that was a, a different avenue to get that funded through. Well, grants are great. We love seeing grants. We, uh, yeah, yeah. Put those right in. Uh, they were easy, no brainers. And I don't know what the roof, honestly, I don't think it's ever been replaced since that building was built. Um, I don't know if it's a repair or, a, you know, to do a new roof. We'd have to have somebody look at it. Yeah. And again, I'm hopeful that that grant work being done in the very near future. Um, we'll identify that. We'll identify that. They're going to look at every town building. Okay. Um, and this, that, that was a state grant to do this project. Okay. And it's something that really needs to be done, looked at by a professional. Right. We right. had the same issues with the library. Uh, you know, you can't do guesswork on the repairs of the, the heater and the roof and 
some of those things, you know? Right, right. Um, but that's, that's very good. And um, this year could be a tough year for money after talking to Ron. I mean, he was telling us about the woes with the Wachusett District schools and the extra funding they're going to try and look for. And we're not sure what that'll be exactly, but he, he warned us that, that there was a chance that could eat up all the free cash. Right. Which, which puts all of these projects, yours and everyone else's, on hold. So um, we're waiting to hear more from that. I don't know how long that'll take. It's probably some contentious school committee meetings in the Watchers at District. Right, right. And that's, yeah, that doesn't look good. And the, um, I mean, I'm interested to see what this company comes up with too, as far as a plan, because, yeah. you know, maybe that'll take a good hard look at the building and is any of it worth it? We certainly don't want to pour $300 into a building we're going to tear down in seven years. I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've, I've done a detailed walk through that building and I, I question its long-term yeah. health. Yeah. I mean, you can make anything last forever if you want to sink the money down into it, but I, I couldn't begin to guess if that's worth it or not on that right. building. I don't know. So maybe they'll be able to help us with that. Uh, we need to... professional help. We wanted a, a, the town to put together a, an actual building committee to, to do some of this homework and, and hopefully this grant is a, a great start in that direction. You know, these people, hopefully a professional run said they've done this kind of thing in other towns, notably Southbridge and somewhere else he mentioned, I can't remember. I thought we had a building committee that never came to fruition. That's possible. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think what happened, it maybe got lost in one of the transitions along the way. I, I think Margaret started to pull that together. Okay. Um, I'm not even sure that people actually got seated on it, Nancy. It was, it was, I know it was the topic of conversation okay. with the intent of forming it, but I don't know that it ever got as far as actually seating and naming people. Okay. I, I did get an email in the last six months saying they were looking for people to fill a committee, but oh. that, that may have actually been before Ron actually came in too. So I think it was. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right, Mike. I, I think it started with Margaret. <laughs> it kind of continued on with Mike. And then I think Mike transitioned out. And, and I think we're in that limbo spot again, where <laughs> it never really got um, finalized. Well, so far, I like what Ron's doing. And hopefully some of this is going to uh, transition into real progress in many other buildings. Yeah, that would be nice. All right. Uh, well, this was helpful, Nancy. At least gave us. We know we're not going to rate the three items that were listed for FY22, um, which which is helpful. We have the three items that would be the priority. However, it, it seems like all three of those would probably fall under what's going to take place with this facilities study. So I'm not quite sure that, you know, the, the committee will have to talk and decide how we want to proceed, whether we want to rate them or whether we want to hold off until that facility study kind of gives us maybe more finite pricing to help us rate them. Okay. Nancy, for your information, the other two things, the pavilion and the exterior doors, both which could be subject to grants. Uh, like I said, those are easy. They just fly through, but you still have to submit them to us because the town is going to actually spend that money. Um, uh, if you're getting grants, chances are they're going to be rubber stamped. Nobody's going to turn their noses up at money like that but uh, oh, right but i that's why I, I worked hard to try and get it covered with mike through the cares act yeah and well that, that's great that, and now it's kind of on hold up in the air but well well let us yeah and, and just keep us in the loop on that nancy if you ultimately get approved for the grants um you know the the process is, is really, we have to look at them from an, uh, if it's out of our normal cycle, we still have okay. to review them from an emergency standpoint, but you know, emergency, I guess we could, <laughs> there's different definitions to emergency, but if we have grant funding that we risk losing by not acting, that okay. would be something that we'd want to act on pretty quickly under those emergency circumstances. So. Okay. That's great. Well, thank you guys. At least I, I feel like I have a little bit better understanding. Well, thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah, we have a better understanding too. Okay. And, uh, some of this is going to have to wait, but 
uh, at least we know what the real priorities are and, uh, and, and we'll see what that study tells us over the next couple of months. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks, Nancy. Have a good night. You too. Take care. Um, so with that said, what's your guys' thoughts? Do you, obviously we're going to strike the, the three items that we were thinking that we were going to have to rate. Um, what's, what's your pleasure as far as considering the boiler, the roof and the windows? I, I, again, without some quotes or something, I, I don't think we can vote on it. I mean, we don't we, have quotes. Um, the roof, the boiler, I still I don't think. And the plus, roof, I still think, be, could is probably still going to fall under the purview of the buildings overall. Um, yes. You know, like if it was an emergency, that we'd maybe be talking about a patch. But like if we're talking about seventy-seven grand or more, like that's really a new roof. That to me, that's the purview of the buildings. I don't. Yes, think we I, I agree. That. So I, it's um, and it may prove to be an emergency. We'll wait and see what the, that. Uh, well, we don't have enough information to make that decision. Yeah, we wait till the study and the, it, it looks like we're actually going to have five, possibly five things for 2022 or in the near future, but two of them are grants. Mm -hmm. uh, even though we still technically have to rubber stamp them from our end. Uh, hopefully she can follow up with those. But uh, that does answer some questions, although it doesn't. I guess right now, unless we hear from communications, um, the list we have that we did last week is might be all we're going to get. Yeah. So, I, and I talked to Harry about this too, because I know Harry has tried to reach out to Mike in, in multiple methods. So as a last effort, what I'll do is in addition to reaching out to Seth about the ladder truck grant opportunities, I'll reach out to Ron um, and try to get a hold of Mike via Ron as a last, last ditch effort for our next meeting. And then if that doesn't pan out, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll move on and, and it simply just won't be considered. All right. Um, so um, I don't see that we have any other action to take as far as ratings. So maybe what we can do is set a date for our next meeting and the intent with that meeting would be if Mike can join us, we'll get those questions answered. We'll finalize everything on our rating sheet, make our recommendations based on the ratings that we have. Yep. And then I think the other thing we got to start on our next meeting and, and maybe finish is um, our annual report for FY, I forget which one they're looking for, FY 2021 maybe or 2020, I'm not sure. Do you, do you want to try and get together in two weeks, the 25th? Or that's a problem. We could push it off a week. I don't know. That, the 25th works for me. It's fine with me, Dan. Dan, you good? Yeah, the 25th is good. Um, let me try to do it now. And um, if if Mike Moriarty doesn't respond or we're not going to be able to meet with him, if we can meet with him any other time, we can reschedule. But if not, um, maybe we should meet just to kind of finalize what we have already. Yeah, that, that's what we'll do. 325, one way or the other, we're going to finalize our recommendations, I think, on that date. We kind of have to because we got to get them over to the FinCom and the BOS to um, factor into what they're doing for the budget. Um, I, I don't know uh, if we'll have any word on progress on the, the Wachusett budget too. Right. That, that could be a monkey wrench. Um, I have a feeling the numbers Mike gave us, I mean, all the communities are going to be in the same boat. They're all going to be falling over looking at numbers. Um, and it, it may not, it may not be as drastic, but even if it's not that drastic, it could still eat up our free cash. Yeah. Let's hope for the best. All right. Um, make a motion to close the meeting. Is there a second? I'll second the motion. All right. Roll All call, right. Dan. Gracie, aye. Mike Ferguson, aye. And Becker, aye. We're officially adjourned.